Hey there everyone, welcome to Violet Stream Tarot. So this is my new desk, so it is not very long. I have considered filming from the side because it's quite wide, but I actually think that looks worse. So we haven't got as much space as we normally would do. Um, but on the plus side, you will see the cards up a lot more closer. Um, so that's good. So what we're doing today is a reading called What Rewards Are Coming Your Way? So basically what good things you can experience soon or you can expect to experience soon. So I'm filming this in October. I'm trying to do quite a few themed videos for October, but this is a timeless reading. So whenever you watch it, this may have a message for you. Um, however, I thought this would be a good one to do for October because there are going to be two full moons in this month. And so full moons are all about completion. They're all about um, things coming to fruition, endings, tying up cycles. So I thought that this would be a good question to ask today. So as you can see, we've got three tarot card piles with these little ghost pictures on them. Before I get into it, I just want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons, including Alex, Alexandra, Kat, Ashley, Jeanette and Kelly. Thank you so much for all of your support. And a special thank you today to Samantha for sending me this lovely new deck. I just got it yesterday, so using it for the first time today, I'm going in completely blind. But thank you so much for this. This is called Believe in Your Own Magic Oracle Deck. And I like the pictures. The pictures are quite cute, but also what I like is that they're very... Um, diverse like in terms of not just ethnicity but also body shape and things and I just think that's really nice and really affirming especially if you often don't see yourself reflected in some of the cards that I more traditionally use so really looking forward to using those today thank you so much Samantha you are so kind and so generous so please do comment below and let me know who you are because I don't think I've done a reading for you before I didn't recognize the name so do comment below so that I can say thank you to you um, in the comments as well. And if you see her there, everyone, please show her some love for her kindness. So let's look at the piles. So pile one, we've got this little, well, it's all the same little ghost. And I have used some of these pictures before, but not the exact ones that I'm using today. So the ghost here is like dressed up. He's trying to scare someone. And we're using the sun and moon tarot for this pile. Then pile two, he's accidentally been hung up with the socks to dry, and we're using the happy tarot for this pile. So just ask yourself what rewards are coming my way, or what good things can I expect soon? And pile three, we've got the trick-or-treating Halloween ghost with the deviant moon tarot. So it's okay to pause the video if you need more time, but whichever pile you're feeling intuitively drawn towards is going to be the best pile for you in terms of accuracy. So don't just go by the picture that you think is the cutest or the picture that you like the most or the deck that you like the most. Go where you're feeling intuitively pulled. And then I'm gonna get started with pile number one. Okay, group one, if you chose the ghost that is dressed up, trying to scare someone, then this is gonna be your reading pop that there. So we're using the sun and moon tarot today. Um, also, if you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing and also liking the video as well if you're watching and you enjoy it. It really does help the channel get seen by more people. And also an, a notice for newcomers, we do charms and dice on this channel as well once the cards have been pulled. So do stick around for that and make sure you get your full reading. So group one, what rewards or positive things are coming towards you soon? Okay, so we've got our tarot cards. Let's see what they can tell us. Queen of Pentacles, first of all. Ace of Cups. Okay, then we've got the Princess of Wands, which is the Page of Wands, and Two of Swords, Peace. Wow, that's so interesting because you've got one of each of the major arcana suits, so it feels like a lot of varied things are coming your way. Firstly, I'm seeing with the Queen of Pentacles improvement in finances, possibly an improvement in the realm of career or study. So if you have exams coming up or if you're worried about work, I feel like you're going to get some um, positive progress in that field soon. And I also feel like bodily as well, body image is going to improve or your health in general is going to improve. So that's a very positive card to start off with. And I also see possible new love coming your way as well. 
I see peace of mind coming forward, especially if you've been worried about making decisions for the future or if you've been worried about um, things that other people are going to choose to do. I see you finding a lot of peace with that and something that you were worried about possibly not happening or happening in a way that is much better than you had expected. And I also see as well renewed creativity or some inspiration coming your way, possibly an exciting opportunity. So I'm going to get you plenty of Oracle cards as well. That's just what I get from the tarot cards. Okay, group one. Okay, so we've got the three of forces, the bird's nest. So that's all about expansion and that resonates really nicely with the Queen of Pentacles because it's about home and family. It's about the material aspect of home and family, like home improvements, um, having more children or having a child, if that's something that you've been hoping to do. Um, but I also feel like it's the fulfillment side as well. It's about being harmonious, feeling happy in the home. Um, maybe you are one of the little baby birds who is going to go and leave for university or work and it's all about expansion in that way. So really exciting. It feels like there is some improvement going on or there is some um, positive change in your home life. Okay, then we have Into the Unknown in the reverse, number seven. So I will need to read from the guidebook for that because I've never pulled that as a reversal. I'm not sure I've even actually pulled it in the upright position before, but I'll get to that at the end because when I've got all of the cards out, there might be other guidebooks I need to read from, so I'll do that all together. The energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. So kind of what I was talking about with that feeling of expansion there, like you are building up to something or maybe you have been working towards something. Maybe this is just a sign that you're going to be having more energy or more focus, more determination soon. Especially if you've been feeling tired or lethargic a lot. And that would resonate with the Queen of Pentacles about um, improved health and also with the Princess of Wands about improved enthusiasm or renewed determination. Wow, cow spirit, the miracles are endless, number 15. That was honestly kind of the energy I got from your tarot cards because you had such varied tarot cards. Like it wasn't as though you got three pentacles cards and a cups card. You know, you got one each of all of the minor arcana. So I thought, well, improvements or rewards in kind of all areas of your life, I think. So I love that you've got that card, the miracles are endless. Okay. Oh, you've actually got two cards from my brand new deck. So you're the first person to see this, group one. So dragons, number six, slay them all. And sword, number seven, make the change. So what I was talking about with regards to changes, and then you have got this, this swords card here as well. So if you have been worried about decision making, I feel like that is going to um, change, you're going to get the bravery to make that decision, or you're going to realize what the right choice is. Or alternatively, as I said before, something that you're worried about with regards to changes or decision making is either not going to happen or is going to happen in a much better way than you had expected or worried about. And then dragons here, slay them all. I feel like this is about overcoming obstacles and maybe also about, I don't want to say lashing out, but kind of protecting yourself from negative energies, whether that is people in your life, whether that is um, just your own thoughts and worries that stop you from achieving your true potential. Just kind of get this feeling that you're going to be protecting yourself from that in the future and taking a stand against that. Okay, then we've got the person who is coming out of the dark part of the street and is moving into the bright part of the street. But if you can see, I'm not sure if you're able to see, in the dark part, she's like a cat. She's got a tail and she's got some ears. So I think of transformation when I see this card and I also think of like balance between the two sides of yourself. So maybe you are learning to accept or embrace the darker aspects of yourself or dealing with subconscious issues and realizing that you are not just the person who you present to others but you're also the person who is on the inside with all of your experiences you know 
just because you might have had negative or even traumatic experiences doesn't mean that you can't continue to be this incredible person. And as we can see, this girl has clearly had her own battles in the past, whether that was with illness or with an accident or even some kind of villain. Um, she's determined still to stand tall and strong and proud and take on these dragons on her own. So I just think that's a lovely, empowering message. And I think a lot of you are a lot stronger than you realize, Group One. So then we've got Cheetah. I do get a warrior energy from this group, I have to say, especially with this card and this card. You know, this reminds me of Mulan, someone who is not afraid to stand up for what she feels is right, even if other people will try and stand in her way. Chaos and conflict, number 33. So what I was saying about protecting yourself from this kind of energy, maybe overcoming chaos or conflict issues with other people, overcoming people who are argumentative or coming back from a situation where you've really been um, disagreeing with people that you care about and just learning to bring that into harmony, even if that means agreeing to disagree. Hmm. Laska la chief shekhmirane. Love heals all wounds. And that's really, really beautiful because I do get that energy from this as well, like even though she's got a sword, it's not a violent card, I don't think. It's almost like she's going to overcome these dragons, not with the sword, but with some other special power that she has. And Vedatyesh just nach fiesta. A lucky star is leading you. So I think that's really nice as well that you are under this divine protection or you're being guided to make the right decisions or being guided to a better place in life. Okay, last card. I'm going to pull you one of these new Edgar Allan Poe playing cards. I just had to get these when I saw them online. Okay, so you've got a Joker card. Okay, so this says, yes, heaven is thine, but this is a world of sweets and sours. Our flowers are merely flowers and the shades of thy perfect bliss is the sunshine of ours. Wow. That is really, really beautiful. So this is um, a quote from one of Edgar Allan Poe's works. I'll read it out to you again. Yes, heaven is thine, but this is a world of sweets and sours. Our flowers are merely flowers, and the shadow of thy perfect bliss is the sunshine of ours. Wow. So what I get from that message, it's kind of like a twofold message. Firstly, I think that a lot of goodness is coming your way, but equally, I feel like you're going to be um, kind of humble about it. Like you're not going to be bragging that you've achieved something or you're not going to be feeling like you're so much better than other people because you've had this run of luck or because you've had this achievement or this improvement or this progress or this award or whatever. Um, I feel like you're just saying, well, yeah, I make the best of the circumstances life deals to me. It doesn't make me a better person or stronger or prouder or anything else. It just makes me someone who is resilient or someone who is able to overcome life's challenges. So let's get your charms on top. Actually, no, I will read, I'll read from these two guidebooks first. So into the unknown in the reverse. Nearly forgot about this. So this card says, Inexperience plus overconfidence can lead you into a dangerous situation for which you're unprepared. Always remember that wisdom comes from experience. Keep an open mind and enter this part of your journey with alert eyes. Don't assume that you know this territory. You may not recognize what is hidden by camouflage. This is not a time for careless adventure. So I feel like you are going to be learning a lot from experience soon. And actually, you're going to be looking back and realizing that even if certain experiences seemed very negative at the time or seemed very damaging for you they've actually served you well because in the future you won't get into those kinds of situations again so this could be like physical dangers that threatened your health or your lifestyle it could be um, relationship dangers where you learn to recognize red flag behavior in friendships at work in romantic relationships even with family members um, it could be other issues like taking on more than you're capable of at the time when it comes to work. So then the cheetah card says solar force, action, achievement, and masculine energy. So what I was talking about with achievements there. 
The cheetah is the epitome of the solar forces at work. The sun doesn't shine onto the cheetah, it shines from inside this great creature and expands outward to brighten the universe. The energy within a cheetah personality is palpable to others and they naturally attract an audience to bear witness to their remarkable achievements. Purpose and passion are the best fuel for a cheetah's forward momentum, so if you're lacking in those areas, reconnect to the why before you start running. When in balance, this person achieves anything and has boundless energy. When out of balance, they are impatient and competitive, and to bring themselves back into balance, they reconnect to their purpose, or they need to reconnect to their purpose. So what I was getting there again with having increased energy or renewed enthusiasm renewed power and what I think was important was the word competitive there when this person's out of balance they can be competitive and what I honestly feel from these cards is that you're learning not to compete against other people or not to see other people as rivals or as people who might try and bring you down or who you need to prove yourself to I feel like you're learning just to be etc for you you know not for other people not to prove yourself to other people or to seem better than other people in any way it feels like you're learning to be whatever you want to be for you so that's really interesting so i'm going to get your charms on top now group one and just a quick disclaimer if you don't like the sound of the charms or if you have the volume turned up really loud or wearing headphones you might just want to turn it down for a minute while i shuffle them because they can be a little bit loud so group one, what rewards are coming your way? Okay. <laughs> so straight away I can see the, the money back there. So definitely an improvement in finances possibly finances in Korea, and you've got a good luck charm with the ladybird there, and another one actually with the dragonfly. Okay, this is also a symbol of fire elementals and the fairy kingdom, and you've definitely got some fire elemental energy coming through in your cards. You've got winter time here with the Christmas tree, and also summer time. So winter and summer are possibly when you can see big changes coming towards you or when you can see certain rewards coming your way. We've got the lovely love heart there. And interestingly, it's landed on the picture of the girl who's looking in the mirror where it says sword, make the change. So I'm wondering if that is partly about self-love and learning to accept yourself regardless of, of what personality traits you have or past experiences you've had definitely learning not to bend over backwards for others as well I think you're going to be firmer you're going to have a much stronger backbone in the future and we have got the happy couple there so obviously linked to the ace of cups I do see love coming your way not just towards yourself but towards others as well the screwdriver is about making something more stable, so it feels like you're going to gain more security either in your mental state, where we we're talking about mental peace, or just in life in general, or even in your, your material, financial um, side of your life, feeling more secure financially. You've got the frog here who is preparing to make a leap. So I feel like you're getting ready to make some big change or some big decisions in your life. And also this Alice charm makes me think of risk-taking or gambling. So daring to do something, you're getting yourself into an adventure or you're determined not to stay in a particular situation that might be leaving you feeling trapped or feeling stuck or like nothing is going to change in your life. We've got a lot here about needing to make a change, but needing to do it for yourself and not for other people. That's what's important. It is likely as well that you have a good friend who will be helpful to you, possibly in setting you up with someone or that actually a friend turns out to have feelings for you because we've got that Ace of Cups card and that's where the friend um, charm has landed. You are being divinely protected for this entire lifetime and your next lifetime as well. This is like a two lifetime, two for one deal when we get the cartouche. So expect a lot of divine intervention and growth in this lifetime and in the next one. And then you have the Pisces charm, the little fish, which is all about going with the flow. So I feel like a lot of this is going to feel natural to you. You don't feel almost like you're making these massive changes. You just kind of make them on the spot and it feels like the right thing to do in the moment. So that's super interesting. 
It's like change becomes second nature to you or decision making, assertiveness, confidence becomes much more natural to you soon. So let's get your dice on top to finish up group one. Okay, we're rolling number four, which is the Looney Tunes dice. These ones. And we're rolling four of them, so that's interesting. Four and four. Four is a number of stability for me and security. So definitely a lot about your personal power here. And there we've got that catalyst energy um, with this here, like sending that energy out into the world, beginning something new, unblocking your energy field as well, releasing blockages that have been holding you back, either mental blockages, emotional blockages through feeling really tied to someone, like you can't go against what they would want. Um, maybe also energetic blockages, like you have a lot of negative energy in your field or energy has become very stagnant and you're just turning that around and starting to be um, the amazing creator that you can be, the creator of your future. We've got the saloon doors there, which makes me think of socializing. So I think it's important that you do have um, a good group of friends or a good support group around you. And I don't know whether that means that you're just going to be socializing with them more or that you are going to be making some new friends or expanding your social circle a bit. Just take that how it resonates. Um, and then we've got Perky Pig or Pinky Pig. I'm never sure which one it is. Um, and he says, that's all folks at the end of a Looney Tunes cartoon. So I feel like you are coming to the end of a cycle, or like you are closing off some kind of experience in your life like you're putting it to bed and you're saying right I'm done with that now I'm ready for something new you know that was the old me yes it was me and I'm not denying that and I'm not um, putting a value judgment on that but that was me then and this is me now and I have more experience now and I'm going to make different choices better choices for myself or I'm going to make different choices as a result of past experiences so that I know not to be sucked into old behavioral patterns so I really hope you enjoyed this group one. I hope it made sense. Um, it looks like really a lot of change is going to be coming towards you, but it's all very, very positive. I see you coming into your power a lot and really experiencing change in all areas of your life, I think. But definitely look out for new love. Definitely look out for a financial windfall or some kind of promotion or better job opportunity coming your way. And above all, your self-confidence, your independence, your own personal power and assertiveness is really what's coming through as a big positive change for you. So thank you so much for spending your time with me here today, Group 1. Um, I would love it if you would comment on this video and let me know how it resonated with you. Of course, like and subscribe if you haven't already um, to get notified of new videos that I post, turn on that bell notification. Also, if you'd like to help out the channel in any way, there are lots of links in the description as to how you can do that. So I have an Instagram channel, channel, Instagram page for this channel where I post daily cards as often as I can. Sometimes I miss one, but I'm generally trying to do it every day. Um, I've also got a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get monthly rewards in return. I have an Etsy page where I offer angel healing sessions and private readings. I have a PayPal link for tips and donations to the channel to help me keep doing these videos. And also, of course, I have my Amazon wish list for tarot and oracle decks. So if you want to be really generous like Samantha was with this lovely deck that I'm actually really pleased with because I just love the imagery and the message that it's seeming to give out, then please do check that out and see if any of the decks on there um, catch your eye and that you think would work well with stuff that I already have on the channel that would be really kind and generous of you. So thank you to everyone who's donated. Thank you to everyone who's a patron or who has been a private reading client or an angel healing client and have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye. Take care. Hey there group two, if you chose the ghost who is hanging on the washing line and also the happy tarot, then this is your reading. So let's see what the cards want to tell us about any rewards or good things coming your way soon. Also, please do consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and liking this video if you enjoy it. It really does help this channel get seen by a lot more people. 
and also if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, please stick around and get your full reading because when we've done the cards on this channel, we also put charms and dice on top as well. So make sure you stay and get your full reading. So rewards and good things for group one. Quite a few tarot cards group too so let's see what has popped out queen of pentacles first of all king of swords okay two court cards the hanged man six of wands and nine of wands interesting so you've got a major arcana card in the center of your reading there so firstly i am actually being drawn to the hanged man and the hanged man is telling me that a lot of self-discovery is coming a deeper understanding of what it is that you want from life is coming there is some kind of realization coming your way so especially if you feel like life has kind of passed you by or that you've missed out on opportunities that other people have been able to enjoy i feel as though a realization or some deeper understanding of what you're here to do is coming your way i also see with the queen of pentacles an improvement in career and finance possibly study for those of you who are still studying this is a good omen if you want to pass exams or if you want to get a better job or a promotion of any kind it's also a good card when it comes to health as well so your health possibly body image being improved king of swords as well tells me that career wise things are going to improve I do see some kind of progression in your career and not just like a physical progression of like a promotion, but I feel also people are going to respect you more, especially now that we've got the six of ones. It's like people recognize the hard work that you do or people recognize the talent that you have. So that's really good. And yeah, just in general, the six of ones and the nine of ones, it feels as though you've been putting in a lot of hard work. And as a result of that, you're going to get the reward of that. So if you've been working for a long time on a particular project, I see you feeling satisfied with the result of that. For example, writing a book or um, trying to learn how to dance or trying to learn how to sew or something like that, learning a language possibly, planning a holiday in the future, I'm not sure. Just whatever you've been working on for a while, you're going to see the natural result of that and you're going to be happy with it. So let's get you plenty of oracle cards, group two, because I have so many decks just waiting to be used here. So group two. Four of roses, fuse of the ego, okay. It's time to release negativity, full moon in Scorpio. So those cards resonate really well with one another. Um, basically, the views of the ego card is all about recognizing that someone in your life has been using you or has been very selfish, very manipulative, very egotistical in some way and doesn't really care about others. As you can see, this person's looking into the mirror. He doesn't see the other people that are standing there with him. He only sees himself. And so it's like you're realizing this about someone and you're choosing to leave them behind. You're choosing not to give them permission to be in your life anymore. So that's very powerful. And this could be one person or a group of people. You know, it might be a friendship group, certain family members, a couple. Could be a toxic work environment and you're choosing to move on to something bigger and better. Balancing Act, number 11. Okay, feels like lots of things are going on for you and you're just trying to juggle everything in the middle. You're trying to get that, that nice happy medium in between all of this stuff. Okay, then you have two of these spirit animal cards. So Koala Spirit, first of all, number 35. Spirit has a plan and that's really nice as well, knowing that spirit has some kind of plan for you in life or that you are going to realize what I was talking about with the hanged man, why you're here or what your purpose is in this life. And 51, Sandpiper Spirit, be playful. Okay, so more lighthearted, happy energy coming into your life, more playfulness, more silliness, more childlike behavior, less of the worry. Let's use the brand new deck. 
that we've got for today. got princess number one you can be your own knight okay i love that that's like saying you can save yourself or you can rescue yourself from this situation and that's the picture that's on the front of the deck so that's the one that the um, author deemed the most appropriate or the most powerful so you can be your own knight you're making the decisions you're calling the shots now group two you're choosing what to do about your life and no one else lovely so powerful Eagle, wow. Lots of really powerful energy coming in for you, group two. Really strong. And this always reminds me of Ravenclaw as well. If you're a Harry Potter fan, I am a Ravenclaw. Comment below what your house is. I'm really interested to find out. So you've got the train here with all of the different, um, what are they called, carriages, wagons attached to it. And this makes me think that there's like a variety of good things coming your way, like lots of different things, because I just think of variety whenever I pull this card. So obviously we've got the money in the background there, but I just feel like there's a lot of different things coming your way that are going to be positive. So I feel like your life is going to be improved in lots of different ways or in all areas of your life, there is gonna be some kind of improvement or some kind of thing to look forward to soon. And you also got this letterbox that is kind of churning out these letters or biting them a little bit, I think, like shredding them a little bit. And I just feel like this is about communication. And I was wondering whether to mention that when I pulled out the King of Swords, but I decided not to because I didn't see anything else that was really pointing towards that. But now that I get this, I feel as though you're telling someone an uncomfortable truth. And this person needs to hear it, but doesn't want to hear it. But you also need to say it. So I feel it's about speaking up for you. Even if it's not, you know, the kindest thing to say to someone, I feel like you're telling someone maybe this person, how they've made you feel or how they've treated you and the fact that it's not acceptable. So there's a strong throat chakra element of speaking up here going on for you, group two. Round and round, number 25. Feel like you're breaking a cycle where you've just been repeating the same experiences, possibly repeating past traumas. So allow your inner light to shine. That's really nice. Letting that inner confidence or that inner power to find expression in the outer world. So for your last card before we do your charms and dice, I'm going to pull one of these new Edgar Allan Poe playing cards. Because it's October, I just had to get these when I saw them. And I've really enjoyed using them in private readings so far. So you've got the three of diamonds, which would correspond to the three of pentacles. And it says, that man is not truly brave, who is afraid either to seem or to be, when it suits him, a coward. And that's from Marginalia. So I'm going to read it again. That man is not truly brave, who is either to seem, sorry, who is afraid either to seem or to be, when it suits him, a coward. Interesting. So kind of the energy that I get from that is that it's about accepting the sides of yourself that you're maybe not 100% happy with or accepting the parts of yourself that you would consider to be maybe unpalatable or not likable or not lovable. Basically accepting yourself as a whole, as you truly are. So one thing I'm gonna do before I do put the charms on top is just read this eagle card from the guidebook, just cause that will give us a deeper insight into that card. So eagle. Okay, so it says, all pervading power, truth seeker, transforms karma. 
The noble eagle emanates the light of the sun. This great bird is both physically and spiritually strong and represents mastery over the elements of fire and air. When the eagle appears, you'll soon be thrown into the karmic fire for the sake of your transformation. The eagle pushes us to be our best and brightest selves and stops at nothing to see us shine. And wow, we've got this card here that says, allow your inner light to shine. So that's a nice synchronicity in the way that that was worded. Grasp the sun in your talons and hold on for the ride. You are stronger than you think, eagle child. So when in balance, this person is bright, radiant and enjoys challenges. When out of balance, they are controlling and to bring themselves back into balance, they need to step into the unknown. So that's really, really interesting. That's your um, message from that deck for today. So let's put your charms on top. Group two, I really feel like you have been through a difficult experience or a difficult cycle recently and you're coming out of that now with an understanding of what the reason or lesson was behind it and you're coming out of it with um, transformed karma. So just a quick disclaimer as well, if you don't like the sound of the charms or if you have the volume turned up really loud or you're wearing headphones, you might want to turn it down just while I shuffle them because they can be a little bit loud sometimes. So group two, rewards coming your way. Okay, well, first of all, I think it's interesting how the eagle said that it had the power of the sun, and then you've got the gold stone, which for me is just so similar to the sun card in the tarot. So definitely a lot of positivity coming your way soon, a lot of truth, understanding, optimism and confidence. We've got loyalty here as well. Following in someone's footsteps. We've also got the lightning bolt there, so that makes me think of being shocked by something or something being really quite shocking. Um, so I'm wondering again if that is the intensity of this karmic cycle that you appear to have been through, but you are a very resilient character, group two. You're able to overcome a lot of difficulty and a lot of um, adversity because you are being protected by the divine. You've got the hand of Fatima there. Got a lot of divine protection against negative energies. So I'm also seeing the gauntlet indicating that you want to challenge someone or that you have been through a great challenge recently and you've learned to be adaptable. And I'm also wondering if for some of you this egotistical character was a romantic prospect or a romantic interest because when I pull the frog in a love reading it usually means that that person is the frog that you kiss and they turn they don't turn into a prince, they just remain a frog. So they're not the right person for you. So I just take that as an extra message if that was the case. Definitely see the financial improvement for some of you. We've got the money bag there. So that was definitely something that was coming out from the very beginning of your reading. And I get the energy as well that you don't want to let go of something because we've got this lobster claw and also the lobster. So maybe lobster is a spirit animal for you or an important animal that you want to look out for. Um, but that's just super interesting that you've got this energy of clinging on to something um, and you definitely are going to be finally letting go of that thing because I see you completing a cycle or um, putting your distance between yourself and another person who was um, very controlling towards you or very toxic in a way. Finding space from someone, taking space from someone. This person may have been a Leo or you may be a Leo. The lion energy in general just tells us not to be prideful in the choices that we make because that can hinder us along the way. And I see as well with the binoculars, like looking deeper into a situation or seeing the truth of a situation. Normally I would say overanalyzing, but because it's landed on the spirit has a plan card, it makes me think that there is an understanding of the truth here or like you're being able to see more deeply or more clearly into your situation. So let's get your dice on top as well group two to finish up. Okay so we're rolling number three and that is the mystery dice. It's just a bit of wood from a broken charm. So the mystery dice look like that.
and we're rolling seven of them for you today. So a fair amount, group two. Okay, so we've got the calculator there. So I definitely see you working out what you want or figuring out what you want. And interestingly enough, you've got this um, film reel and also the round and round card. So definitely this energy of being in a cycle or just going round and round in a situation without getting anywhere. And that is now coming to a close. I see that some of you were born in the year of the rat. Obviously, it's the year of the rat right now, so it may just mean that this whole experience has taken place in this year or that you're dealing with someone who has a rat personality, um, was born in the year of the rat. I see you having more fun as well, this kind of lighthearted energy that we were talking about with the sandpiper spirit, learning to enjoy yourself, learning to relax a little bit, facing your fears as well. It's time to release negativity, you know what I was talking about, working through that. We've got the person who is missing here or the wanted person. So I feel like you are maybe finding someone who is right for you, maybe romantically, maybe as a really good friend. And also the DNA is super interesting there. I'm wondering if there is some kind of pattern in your family or you're following in the footsteps of a family member, whether that's good or bad. So if it's bad, you're learning to step aside from that and be your own person. If it's good, you're taking a good example from a family member. So that's just an interesting message that I think will only apply to some of you, but for those of you that it does, I think it will make sense. So hopefully you enjoyed this group too. It seems like there's a lot of realization coming towards you as well as success financially and in your career. And you're also pulling yourself away from someone who has dragged you into quite a difficult karmic cycle, I feel. It's maybe one person or it may be a group of people. So I hope you enjoyed this group too. Please do consider subscribing if you haven't already. Like, share and comment below. I really do like reading all of your comments and I try to reply to all of them as well. And all of this really helps my channel to get seen by other people as well. So um, you help out the channel every time you do something like that. If you'd like to help out the channel in a further way, I have a list of links in the description box to help you do that. So I have an Instagram page for the channel where I post daily cards nearly every day. I am trying to do it every day, but occasionally I do have to miss a day because of other commitments. Um, I have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get monthly rewards in return. I have a PayPal link for tips and donations, which help me keep this channel running. A tarot and oracle wish list on Amazon, of course, where you can get lovely new decks for the channel if you're feeling really generous like the lovely Samantha was. Please do consider looking at that and seeing if anything catches your eye. If you think any of the decks would work really well with some of the other decks that I've got on the channel, that would be really lovely of you. Thank you to everyone who's donated. You are all so, so generous. And thank you again to Samantha. Um, and finally, I have, of course, my Etsy page linked in the description for private readings and angel healing sessions. So if that resonates with you, if that's something you'd like to um, get for yourself or for a friend, because I do offer gifted readings as well, um, then definitely go and check that out. But thank you so much for watching today, group two, and spending your time with me. Have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Take care. Hey there group three, if you chose the Halloween ghost and the deviant moon tarot, then this is your reading. So let's see what rewards and good things are coming towards you soon. Also, please do consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and liking this video if you enjoy it. It really does help the channel get seen by more people. And if you're new to the channel, please stick around and make sure you get your full reading because we don't just do cards here. When we've got the cards all on the mat, I also put charms and dice on top as well. So group three is coming up. So we've got the Queen of Swords here, Ace of Swords, Ten of Cups, Five of Pentacles, and the World. Interesting. So I'm seeing Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energies coming through in this reading so far. What I'm seeing, first of all, is you overcoming a heartbreak or a betrayal. I definitely see the improvement of 
of your own independence and your own self-reliance because you've got the queen of swords here and that i'm getting all of that just from that one card partly also because i'm seeing the ten of cups so i feel like if you have been betrayed or if you have been through a very difficult breakup then you are soon going to find the person that makes you feel better the person that gives you um, the kind of relationship that you deserve and that you can enjoy whether that is in a friendship sense or in a romantic sense depending on what you've been through what this difficult time is referring to this could even be in your work if you've been really struggling at work and you feel like you've just been used or like you've been um, you know treated unfairly that you're actually going to find the workplace that is suitable for you but I think for most people it's going to be about relationships I definitely see a new beginning as well with the ace of swords and it's like you're determined that this time it's going to be better or this time you're going to make the best choices for yourself and so I do see that happening because we've also got the closing off of another chapter of your life closing off one particular experience and starting something afresh possible also the um, planning of traveling or the opportunity to travel soon is coming your way and then the five of pentacles just makes me think that you're going to be improving in confidence there's a lot here about self-esteem self-worth going on so i do feel like of all of the piles that i've seen so far this is the most heavily influenced by backstory or things that have gone on um, in the past whether that's in the long past or in the very recent past so group three Yes, one of roses, commitment. So whether that is a committed relationship or a signing of a new job contract, for example, whatever it is, I feel like you're going to get the commitment that you've been craving or that you've been wanting from someone or from a place of work. Okay, then we've got number 26, deep freeze. And 52, the magical map shifter. So the magical map shifter is about meeting someone who is meant to push you along your journey in life by making you learn something or making you choose a certain thing, you know, pushing you down a certain path. And this could be a romantic connection. It could be a friendship connection. It could even be the person who you feel betrayed you in some way. They pushed you down a particular path. So it's all about recognizing that these people come into our lives for a reason and the deep freeze card is about giving yourself a bit of a rest slowing things to a halt slowing some projects to a halt just so that you can recover from whatever's gone on I feel like you would really um, benefit from just resting a little bit or giving yourself a bit of a break cutting yourself some slack so I definitely see more rest coming your way group three Okay, then you have two of these spirit animal cards. Dolphin spirit, number 20, this and that are true. And electric eel spirit, number 24, bring your ideas to life. So I like this because that's telling you that you are going to be able to manifest what you are thinking about or manifest what you are hoping for. What's really important with this is that you need to keep your thoughts positive because it's bring your ideas to life, not bring your dreams to life. You know, whatever notions or ideas you get into your head, you're going to be able to manifest them. So be really careful that you're keeping your thoughts positive. And then the dolphin spirit card, this and that are true, makes me think that you shouldn't look backwards with bitterness or resentment towards the time that you spent with someone if you felt betrayed by them. Um, and what I mean by that is don't allow the experience that you've had to color negatively the whole relationship that you had with someone. So just because, for example, a friend of yours betrayed you, it doesn't mean that your entire friendship was a lie. You can still look back fondly at those memories and um, not feel bad about that or not feel guilty about missing them even. You know, both things are true. They can have been both an important person to you and equally damaged you in some way or treated you in a, in a negative way. So I definitely see that there's a lot of confusion going on for this group or a lot of very intense energies. I feel like my group threes are often the most complicated people when I do my readings. Communication is key. New moon in Gemini. So communicating with someone, 
this could even be with yourself, like vocalizing to yourself what it is that you want or what it is that you're going to go after in life. It could mean truth and honesty between people. Okay, so then we've got number 27, which justice is coming. Wow. So I feel like some of you are witches or like you have some kind of psychic or magical ability. What I like with that saying justice is coming as well is that it feels as though the positive karma that is due to you is going to come to you. So in this that sense, it is like a very natural reward from what you've experienced. Fish. Maybe some of you have Pisces energy. We've definitely got a lot of watery energies from the animal spirits at least, but also a lot of airy energy um, as well. Maybe that's just saying that you might be an air sign or have a lot of air in your chart, but it's been a very emotional time for you. Uh -huh. Then we've got the little monster who has opened the door to the basement and is looking down with a lot of fear. So I feel like this is about delving into the subconscious, really seeing um, those past experiences for what they really are, maybe even accepting the darker sides of yourself, which seems to have been like a message for, I think every group in this reading today. So accepting all sides of yourself, even if you don't feel like they're necessarily good sides or palatable or likable or lovable, accepting yourself fully and facing up to your fears. Between Worlds, number three, the sense of a transitional phase, transitioning from one life experience to the next, from one chapter of your life to the next. Daves for last go sabye idruhim, give your love to yourself and to others. So not allowing these past experiences, however difficult they were to deal with, to stop you from experiencing positivity and to stop you from giving love and receiving love as well. So the last card that I'm going to draw for you before we read from some guidebooks and then do your charms and dice are these new Edgar Allan Poe cards that I bought. I've been enjoying using them in private readings and now I'm going to be using them in the videos in October because I just saw them online, I had to buy them and I thought it would be good for our October videos. So group three. Okay, so you've got the 10 of cups again, the 10 of hearts. The death then of a beautiful woman is unquestionably the most poetical topic in the world. And that's from the philosophy of composition. So I almost feel like this is saying do not allow other experiences or other people to stop you from shining your light or to stop you from being who you were meant to be on this earth. So interesting that you got the Ten of Cups twice. The death then of a beautiful woman is unquestionably the most poetical topic in the world. Just thought I would read that again. So yes, definitely not allowing yourself to be defeated by anything like this. Definitely not allowing yourself to um, give up the ghost as it were. So let's look now for, which guidebook was I going to read from? Oh yeah, the fish, the fish card. So, fish. Restlessness, change of focus, lost in the current. The fish loves to be subsumed in life's current. Nothing pleases it more than movement, movement, and more movement. The roaming lifestyle of the fish may be exhilarating for a while, but usually leads to weariness and slippery relationships. With all the possibilities out there in the vast waters, the fish becomes lost without clear goals and intentions. Spend some time with the lunar forces, dear fish, as the peace and calm of the moon will soothe your soul. When in balance, this person is adaptable and travels well. When out of balance, they get distracted and they change their mind often. To bring themselves back into balance, they need to set a small goal and accomplish it. So yeah, definitely don't let yourself be disoriented by lots of things happening. That was why possibly this card came out about giving yourself a little break so that you can recharge and regroup later. 
So making sure that you don't burn yourself out essentially through constantly trying to stay busy. So let's get your charms on top now, group three. Just a little disclaimer before I start. If you don't like the sound of the charms or if you're wearing headphones or have the volume turned up really loud, you might just wanna turn it down for a little bit while I shuffle the charms because they can be a little bit loud sometimes. So that's my disclaimer. So group three, rewards and positive things coming your way. Okay, you've actually got quite a lot of charms. Group three, let's just see what we got. You've got passionate, which is a Scorpio charm. So there is that water energy coming through again. I can see a wintertime charm, actually two. So wintertime might be when these changes or rewards come your way. I can definitely see that you're seeing something clearly, that you're seeing the truth of a situation here. Also, the goddess Quan Yin is coming out for you, and she is the goddess of compassion and forgiveness and just gentle energy in general. There's two hearts locked together there, so I feel like love is coming your way, as I was saying before, finding the person who is right for you, who is on the same wavelength as you. Passion, intimacy, excitement, adventure. Definitely adventure, and this again, there's this feeling of travel here feels like you like to travel or you're someone who is often on the move or you've got that wanderlust recently again seeing the truth of a situation or seeing what the situation um was really there for in your life we've got fearless so overcoming your fears as i was saying before really facing them and looking them in the eye and there's a couple of worry threads here. So I definitely see that you have been dealing with um, something quite intense, something quite difficult, as we were saying before. But I see you flourishing and growing stronger and more stable and secure in the future. You've got a good luck charm there. That's also a symbol of fire elementals and the fairy kingdom. You got the shadow self, the bat, the fear, you know, so definitely dealing with that. And I definitely see that you have been dealing with a toxic person or toxic behavioral patterns as well and the haunted house suggests that this has been something you've been trying to rid yourself of for quite some time and it's just been difficult for you to do that and part of me thinks you've been doing this alone because you've got the, the russian doll and so if there's not a russian connection for you with this situation um, then it feels as though you've been bottling up your feelings and hiding them from the world and that's not always the best thing to do sometimes it's best to express how you're feeling so that you can get the help that you need I see you definitely becoming more stable or becoming more certain and more grounded about what you want to do moving forward. There is an angel here for you. This is made for an angel on the back. So definitely I feel some of your earth angels are very strongly connected to the angelic realm. The angels seem to be taking a big part in your life at the moment. Whether you know that consciously or not, whether you're aware of them or not, I feel like they are in your life right now. And then interestingly, you've got the ice skating boot and when I get the ice skate I think of that phrase skating on thin ice like you feel at any moment that something's going to change just because things are going well you feel like something bad is going to happen so there is an element here of paranoia for some of you that needs to be addressed because as I was saying bring your ideas to life if you start to worry about something happening or if you start to think that something's going to happen very likely it will so that's something that needs to be nipped into the bud quite quickly so let's get your dice now, group three. Okay, we're rolling number four, which is the Looney Tunes dice. They look like this. Group one got these dice as well. And we're rolling five of them for you today. Uh -huh. So I see full surrender here with the white flag, like you're finally 
surrendering to a situation that you just can't fight anymore or that you can't continue with anymore and I see you unblocking your energy field as well and this could be unblocking mental blockages like you know removing mental things that are stopping you from moving forward it could be unblocking emotional blockages where people in your life or supposed loyalties to other people are stopping you from moving forward or just energetic blockages where you have a lot of negative energy built up in you or you don't seem to have a lot of energy and therefore you can't get on with the things that you want to do. We've got the Acme box here which says the only way is up. So the only way from here is up and of course you've got the rocket which is like launching you into a new chapter, a new experience here and the platform going up a level. I just see general improvement all around. It feels quite holistic in a way like you're just going to be pushed up the ladder a little bit or pushed up in your experience in some way and definitely coming into your power a lot more definitely getting karmically the results that you felt you should have got sooner or that you know are due to you because of the way that you've behaved or the way that you have um, conducted yourself throughout this whole ordeal or difficult experience that you've been through so i hope you enjoyed this group three hopefully it resonated with you and it made sense to you Please do consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Like, share, comment below. I do try to reply to all of your comments and all of those things like that help this channel get seen by more people on YouTube. So it helps me as well as being just fun and interesting to hear about what you're doing and how this reading related to so many different situations, which I always find incredible is how many different situations the readings seem to fit. If you'd like to help out the channel in a different way, I have links in the description box as to how you can do that. So I've got an Instagram page where I'm trying to post daily cards for the channel. Sometimes I miss a day when I have other commitments, but I am trying to do it as like a daily thing. I've also got a Patreon page where you can get monthly rewards in return for supporting the channel. And there are different levels that you can come in at, so you can just pick which one is right for you. I've also got a PayPal link for tips and donations to help me keep this channel running. I have an Amazon wish list for tarot and oracle decks, like the lovely Samantha who got me this gorgeous new deck. I'm actually surprised. It's nicer than I thought it would be, actually. Um, when I put it on that oracle wish list, I was like, do I like this? Do I not? In terms of the the messages and the artwork, but I think I really do. It's nicer than I thought it would be. So if you would like to be really generous and kind, like Samantha, um, then do consider checking that out and seeing if any decks catch your eye that you think would work well on the channel. Thank you to everyone who has donated and who has spent their time and energy supporting this channel through whatever means. Thank you so, so much. It really means a lot to me. Um, also, if you'd like to book a private reading or an angel healing session with me, my Etsy page is linked in the description box too. So if that's something that resonates with you, definitely go and check that out. But also thank you for spending your time with me today, Group 3. Thank you for listening to all of this rambling and have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Take care.